Good morning, guys. It's Monday. It's really early. 5.40. I'm gonna go pick up two friends for my workout this morning. Oh my gosh, listen to my voice. It's really early. I'm gonna drink my pre-workout right here. Then I have my new water bottle. It's really cute. It's like a mat gray. Let's go work out. I'm back from my workout. It's a beautiful morning. I think everyone's still asleep. Look at this beautiful sunrise. Good morning. So I have a Zoom phone call today. I've had a really busy week. I have a video shoot. I can't share who it's with just yet, but I have a video shoot. And sorry, I gotta turn all this on. So I have a Zoom call today. We've got our bats. Molly and I put some bats up yesterday. Anyway, it's a really busy week. So I thought I would share with you guys kind of little bits and pieces from my week. Thought it would be fun. So come along. <laughs> I then got all the kids ready and my boys usually practice piano first thing in the morning. And the reason why I took out the sound of this is because there was some crying in the background and I don't like showing my kids cry. So yeah. <laughs> all right, I just got off of my phone call and it's just so crazy because I've done a couple of these this year, commercial shoots where it's all remote. So we have to do everything online. Like everybody I was talking to was in New York City. So it's kind of crazy. Uh, but we had a really great meeting about our shoot this week. And I'm just down here in the basement and that's the desk, but I'm here on the ping pong table <laughs> because the lighting is better coming from that way. So here's my setup, let me show you. Here's my setup. Just, normally I should be sitting here. <laughs> anyway, phone call went really well. I have a really busy week ahead but I'm really, really excited about it and I can't wait to share, you guys, share with you guys everything once it actually happens, so yeah. I also have a new Stanley mug. I used to have just the white one, but it broke. So I got this one, it's like matte gray and I love this like white handle and straw. It's a beautiful, beautiful mug. I then had to run a few errands with the twins and I always eat breakfast on the go basically and most of the time I just have a G2G bar. This is an amazing protein bar, really has a great amount of protein and it really fills you up. Get mine from Costco. All right, I just put the twins down for their nap. They fell asleep on the way home. I went to pick up Molly from school and then we went to the park with a friend and they fell asleep. So now I need to uh, make some taco meat because it's one of the things that I eat literally every day. I make it inside of a soft taco. I make it inside of a salad. I make it a Mexican rice bowl. I just use the taco meat the whole week basically for all of my meals and it's been super helpful. So every week I kind of switch off what I eat. Other times I do like shredded chicken uh, and like salsa verde sauce marinated. Anyway, long story short, I'm gonna make some taco meat right now. I have a couple hours. I have to get my hair cut today at work for the commercial my hair is really bad. The day I got my hair cut uh, last was in March and the next day everything shut down in Utah. So that's how long it's been friends. And I'm wondering, I'm like, do I do curtain bangs? You guys know what curtain bangs are? It's like, maybe I'll insert a picture right here. It's basically just having layers anyway, but they kind of go away from your face like that. I don't know, I think it'd be like a nice little change because all I ever have is like long hair. Anyway, I'm getting really excited for this shoot. I, oh, I wish I could share it with you guys. Okay, so time to make some taco meat. Yeah. All right, it has been a lot of time since I saw you last. And I made lunch, I ate it, and then I went and got my hair done. As you can see, I just trimmed it. And also, I haven't even shown my kids yet today. It's been a really busy day. But I also just... I just don't love showing my kids as much anymore, especially as they're getting older. I like to share bits and pieces, but not a lot like I used to, just for privacy. And They're older and they go to school and they have friends and all of that. Oh, that's horrible lighting. Okay guys, sorry. I need to plug in this laptop. I have some more production stuff I had to send them and now I have to do some emails. I'm just so impressed with this company and their professionalism and their organization skills and just amazing. So tomorrow I have another busy day, so I'll take you guys with me. I am, I have to get my nails done. I know that sounds so dumb, but a lot of the product shots, I'm holding it, so my nails are just horrible. And then uh, 
another production phone call. So anyway, gotta go. <laughs> Yikes, horrible vlogger here, horrible vlogger. It's now the next day and I woke up, oh gosh, oh gosh, see, what's up with this? I gotta change my settings. Okay, I woke up really early this morning and went to a cycling class. Then I had to get all five kids ready by 9 a.m. Then I had to get my nails done for the film shoot because I'll be holding products. So I did the dip thing, not the gel, I did the dip. And also, uh, I have a phone call in like 15 minutes here, but I wanted to show you guys our new area rug. So I've been waiting for this to be back in stock. My old area rug is from West Elm and we've had it for five years. And wool is just very difficult to take care of. It's very high maintenance. So I wanted something uh, that wasn't wool, something that I could vacuum because you can't vacuum the wool or else it comes out. Um, anyway, this one is from Polly and Bark and I love it. I love, it's just like, you know guys, you guys know. I just love like graphic, very minimalistic, neutral kind of rugs, but I have a new couch that I actually bought that will be coming here in December, <laughs> but I really want to kind of revamp this room. I also want to get some built-ins uh, and do some, I was thinking of doing some shiplap, but black shiplap all the way up and then doing some shelving on both sides of the fireplace. So kind of my dream <laughs> and it's going to be some money, but uh, it's been something that I've wanted to do for five and a half years. So hopefully we can slowly make changes and add like a different coffee table and end tables and accessorize the shelving and stuff. So it should be a fun project. Anyway, I'm going to get going on my phone call and thank goodness this girl in my neighborhood does this like babysitting service where you can drop your kids off. So my girls are all there right now cause I needed it to be really quiet while I did my phone call. So headed down to the basement where it's not as echoey as upstairs. <laughs> Holy cow, it has been a whirlwind of a morning. First off, I went to cycling class today at 5.30, so I woke up at 4.45, so I'm really tired. Then, Molly and I got invited to do a photo shoot today, and we went there, and that was good for an hour. My friend Carly, thankfully, watched the twins while I did that. And then Max's birthday's tomorrow, and we're doing our video shoot tomorrow, so I have a lot of prep stuff, and I gotta get stuff ready for Max's birthday, gotta get stuff ready for the shoot in my house and everything. Just a lot happening, and I'm just a really bad vlogger. I just went to my friend Carly's house, and I did her makeup too, because she's doing family pictures today, and I love doing people's makeup, it's so fun. So, now we're gonna go to Target, uh, just me and the girls, and we're gonna go buy Max some birthday presents, so it should be pretty fun. Abby wanted to say something to you guys. What'd you want to say, baby girl? Uh, I, Mom said there's going to be a lot of birds. Play. A lot of what? A lot of birds that were in the movie theater, but not a lot of boys. A lot of boys, play play boys. Play. Lot of boys at the movie theater? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it was a little boy birthday party. Where yep. did you find it? No from? girls, huh? I love girls. I just don't love boys, I just love girls. <laughs> Cause you're only friends with girls. Except today, you played with some boys. Okay, Molly, can you get buckled up? It's a lot, lot later, my friends. It's 8.36. We had Will's tennis tournament. We had to do a quick Costco run because tomorrow is Max's birthday. So he always requests a Costco pumpkin pie as his birthday cake. <laughs> then I came home and I've been organizing everything for the video shoot tomorrow. I'm gonna have the crew use my office here uh, for all their charging and stuff. And then I also wrapped all of Max's presents, as you can see over here. I do a treasure hunt, scavenger hunt for all their presents. So I have to do that. I also have to practice my lines and I gotta finish tidying up here. But anyway, we do have some Halloween happening here. Some bats. My kids are very adamant that we have bats. I know I have been like all over the place the last few times I've been on here, but it's just been so crazy. And I'm, I'm not anxious about tomorrow, but I just hope that I can have like good enough energy and then I can remember all my lines and it should be fun. But now I need to go to the store and get Max some stuff because he wants my pancakes. If you guys don't remember my pancake recipe, it's in my book, Deep Breaths, that I released a couple years ago. Uh, it's the best, buttermilk pancakes with buttermilk syrup and all of that. So I'm gonna go do that, practice my lines, and the crew's gonna be here at 7 a.m. So super, super early. And I gotta practice my lines. I wanna feel really confident in my lines. All right, it's the next morning. It's filming day. I woke up at 5.30 to get ready and okay this is so bright hold on let me turn it down there we go yeah 
Anyway, uh, it's a really cold morning and we're filming outside. So <laughs> prayer is that it's not gonna be too bad. Anyway, we're gonna do a Max, or he woke up at 5.30, he's like ready to go for his birthday. So <laughs> we gotta do that. Hey guys, I'm back after a long weekend. I guess I'll just put the camera here right now. I wanted to end this vlog. I know it's not a very long one and I know it wasn't very in depth. Hold on, there's so much lighting happening here. Ah, oh, there's like shiny, shiny light. Let's go this way. I wanted to update you guys on kind of how the last few days have been, how the whole shoot went on Thursday last week. It was just a dream. So the whole crew came here and there was only six of them. There was like a COVID compliance officer. They weren't allowed in my house and we weren't allowed to be even like close to each other at all. They're wearing masks the whole time, which makes it hard because obviously I can't see them. I don't even know what any of them look like, which is interesting. Uh, but the director was in New York City. And so he was directing me via like Zoom call basically. And so we had like everything loud and it was just so professionally done. And the weather was kind of cold. There was some wind, not kind of cold. It was really cold. There was wind and it took us, they were here for about 10 and a half hours that day. It was very, very tiring, but it was a dream come true and I can't wait to share the finished product with you guys when it's time. But it's one of those things where earlier this summer, I don't know if you guys remember, I was about to work with a really, really big company, I still can't say, and it was like down to a couple of us and then they chose somebody else and I was super bummed, but it was like, whatever. And then this opportunity literally came along like a week or so before we actually filmed and it just all happened so quickly and it ended up being such an incredible experience and better than I even could have imagined. And it just goes to show that when one door closes, another one opens, and I really do wanna get more into film and commercials and acting and all of that, and I'm trying to look for an agent. Um, I feel like it's one of those things where I don't care about being famous or something, but I really love talking to the camera. That's why I do YouTube and I really love working with brands and with companies and I just think it's so much fun. And it's one of those things that I would love to do more often. I usually do like a big thing like that maybe once a year. So it'd kind of be fun to do it more often uh, now that the kids are getting older and I have more time to be able to do it. Uh, right after that, the next day we actually went out of town. We went to Midway, Utah, which is about 45 minutes to an hour away from here. And we just stayed there with um, a family, one of our friends, and it was dreamy and I just completely unplugged from social media and it was just really chill and really beautiful and fallish, fall-esque up there. So that's kind of what happened and I know this vlog was all jumpy all over the place. It's now Tuesday and I've been running around crazy. Tuesdays are my really, really busy days with kids and their activities. Right now they're all Twins are asleep and the older kids are all gone. But then we have a crazy busy afternoon and evening. So, uh, so much to do. But I wanted to finish this vlog really fast. And I know it was super jumpy and everything, but it was just such a crazy week. And you probably noticed I don't really show my kids as much anymore. That's because as they get older, I don't really want to show them as much. And I feel like there are plenty of family vloggers out there if you want to know all the nitty gritty and the details of their family and stuff. And... I just, I've shared so much before. I've always kind of kept barriers and boundaries, but I feel like as my kids get older and as they have friends, and usually when we go places, people recognize us. I just don't feel comfortable sharing personal things with for them. I can share all of my personal stuff, but I just don't feel comfortable sharing them as much, you know, especially because they're all a lot older. And yeah, just want to protect their privacy as much as I can for that part. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. I've been trying to do vlogs every week. Last week was an exception because of the crazy commercial shooting and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm gonna go work, work, work while I can, film some more stuff while I can. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.